This video looks at parallel and perpendicular vectors and what happens to the scalar product when you get those kinds of uh, vectors. So let's just have a little look here. Now just a reminder of the scalar product rule there. So if we have this vector A and we have B that's parallel to it and in the same direction like this, we have the angle between them is zero. So if we do cos of zero, we'll get an answer of which means that our scalar product will just be equal to uh, the modulus multi modulus of A times the mod modulus of B and that cos theta is just the one. Now if they're parallel but in opposite directions that means we get an angle between them of 180 degrees. Cos of 180 degrees is minus one so the scalar product is minus the product of the, the magnitudes. We're going to follow that line of reasoning looking at perpendicular vectors. So here we have A and B that are perpendicular to each other, so that means there's a right angle between them. Now if we do cos of 90 degrees, that gives us zero. So the scalar product this time will be equal to zero because you're doing the magnitudes multiplied together but then times zero. So here's our example. We've got these two vectors we're going to find the scalar product and state the geometrical relationship between them. So scalar product as you've practiced before, like this. Now it comes to an answer of zero. That means we can conclude that V and W are perpendicular. Next example. Show that this vector is perpendicular to i plus 2j minus k. So if it's perpendicular the scalar product will be 0. So let's work out this scalar product equals 0 therefore they're perpendicular. Next example we've got an unknown a in this vector we want to find the value of a so that it's perpendicular to this vector here. So do the scalar product we want to make that equal to zero to make it perpendicular. To make that work, a has to be three. So that's it, some nice, straightforward, easy to use things with the scalar product. If it equals zero, it's perpendicular. If it's equal to one or minus one, it's parallel, either in the same direction or the opposite direction.